All right, what it do? This is your boy, Mr. GC, back with you with a video with the Final Fantasy VII Remake Amazing Tips and Tricks Farming Method to gain a decent amount of experience, AP, SP, max skill, and items. And also, keep in mind, this is before you even beat the game. Because I was basically coming across, you know, a couple of YouTube videos, you know, looking for, you know, good farming methods, you know, on Final Fantasy VII Remake, basically to pretty much grind and buff up the character for certain enemies and certain battles and the uh, videos I came across are those who already completed the game and I have not yet found a video of doing the same method during the game before you even beat it so I'm thinking to myself hey why not you know be the first one to put it out so I am pleased to let you know that I have found that method on my journey of grinding through this game so without further ado let's get right to it so, see, I know there's other locations, you know, previous uh, throughout the chapters of the game that you can farm as well, but this location pretty much worked for me. And while coming across this grinding method, I found a way to, to farm and buff up your characters while gaining a lot of experience points, a lot of AP, as well as skill points, while at the same time, you gain max skill and max item without the means of losing your MP. And you know, I mean, we already know. I mean, those who already played this game, you know, so far that ether is pretty much hard to come by and it's expensive. So your worries are over when it comes to certain items, as well as you know, save you some MP as well as HP as well. So there, here's what you're gonna do after events of the destruction of Sector Seven, as well as after talking to Aerith's mom, uh, Elmira, you're gonna basically go through another section of the chapter where you're gonna basically look for. Um, Wedge and Biggs, spoiler alert for those who haven't come across this chapter just yet. While you make your way through Sector 6, you'll come across to a location called Sector 6 Slums uh, Collapse Expressway. And here's where the fun begins. So before you do this, make sure you equip with one of your characters the material of prey. Because this is going to be very essential to you guys. This is the material that gives you the ability to heal you and your allies. And I repeat. An ability, not a spell where it requires MP, an ability that only requires ATB. So that's the best part. So make sure you equip that materia in one of your character's equipment or or weapon slot. Once you make your way through the Collapse Expressway tunnel, you'll come across a certain amount of enemies, such as the Ring Maw, Rejuvenate, Yargi Polis, Tarpsy Coat, Gogers and the bandits. For the Sector 6 slums entrance collapsing expression where you're gonna see some boxes right there which will contain some items. Make your way from the Collapse Expressway to the lower level Collapse Expressway ladder where once you basically defeat the enemies, you will get a decent amount of experience points. No nothing lower than 100, but usually over 300 to 400 depending on the battle. As well as AP ranging from nine and up during the duration of battle, you'll either gain SP points either after your battle or after you level up. During the battle, just focus on your attacks only so you don't require the choice of resulting to your spells or let alone your items. Because here's the good part of having prey materia work for your benefit because you're going to use three of your characters to attack but also have one of your characters to be stationed for not only attack but also a healer. Each and every time you raise your ATB bars, you will use the prey material to constantly heal your your allies. In which, like I said, it only takes away your ATB bars, not your MP. So you're basically saving your M your MP and allowing it to uh, grow each and every time you level up. And you're not wasting items either because you're not resulting to your potions, your high potions, your phoenix downs, so, so on and so forth. Each and every time you end in each battle, you're gaining experience points as well as items and gil. Pretty much for this method to work, you have to basically go through the tunnels, um, defeat the enemies, go to the end of the tunnel, after you defeat the bandits, uh, towards the ladder and, and go right back all the way to the beginning entrance and each and every time you repeat this process the enemies will constantly respawn as well as the boxes at the beginning of sector six slums uh collapse expressway entrance those boxes that you once smashed before they will respond as well so that's another way for you to constantly gain items 
I tried this method myself. I went from level 23 all the way to level 32. It was pretty easy. Once you continue to repeat this method, I mean, I, 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 mean, I gotta tell you, it's a grind. Um, so if you ain't got nothing else to do, of course you ain't got nothing else to do. We in quarantine, so. Uh, <laughs> but it's a good grinding method, you know, to farm to make your character stronger. And I guarantee you that you're gonna max out your materia. You're gonna gain all you're gonna gain a lot of XP to level up your characters as well as a lot of skill points to strengthen your weapons. So keep repeating this method, you'll be ready for the upcoming bosses as well as the final boss. It'll be easy. So that's pretty much it. It's really short and simple. I just want to, you know, bless you guys, you know, with this uh, nice tips and tricks uh, farming method. Um, like I said before, I've been seeing a couple of videos that only showcase uh, different methods of farming, you know, to make your character stronger, but this is only required for you to beat the game first. And I'm basically giving to you that you could do this without beating the game. This could be your first time playing, and you could do this uh, before you even beat the game. So when you come across, you know, certain enemies or even the final boss, it'll be, you know, less strenuous and more easier. So that's it for the video, you guys. I hope this bless your heart. If you like this video, make sure you hit that like button as well as the subscribe button. I'll show your boy some love. And I'll see you next time. Peace.